Okay, I noticed this really great looking flower here with very large dew drops and it's like really a great subject. The sun's kind of bright, hitting it right on right now, which is not the best, the most flattering light for flowers. So we're gonna use a diffusion disc to hold back the harsh light and create sort of a glow, a yeah, cloudy day, very diffused glow kind of a look that you'll see here. Um, so let's, um, let's check it out. First of all, always compose off tripod. So you, you feel not limited by the tripod's height or whatever. So I'm gonna hand hold the camera and get my composition and then I'll move things into position. What I wanna get is full frame of the inside of the flower, nothing on the edges, just completely full of flower and stamen and dew drops. None of the edges, nothing. Now my shadow can diffuse that to an extent, but the quality of light is not as nice as a diffusion disc, which we're gonna set up right now. And I believe I was a little bit closer in here. Now again, you can actually, let me get up here and pull this down just a notch. Be careful not to kill anything. And I believe we're right around here. Nope, a little further back. The 105 is a very powerful lens. And again, you're gonna constantly adjust and readjust macro compositions. That's the uh, name of the game here. And I believe we're somewhere around here. Okay, so at this point, I'm trying to get a good composition. What I want is just all leaf, all dew drops, and stamen, no edges, no bright light, which you see here is occurring. And we'll deal with that soon. Uh, but the composition is a full frame composition with the pristine stamen, a lot of dew drops, very, uh, very high key, very strong graphic. Now for focusing in, in macro land, I'll stop down to F32 here, which is, uh, which you would need to get things as sharp as possible. Now the point is where you focus. I tend to want to focus one third from the bottom of the frame, just like in landscape, maybe a little further in, right about there. And that appears to be, everything appears to be razor sharp. My exposure here is basically aperture, oh, autofocus off. Because for autofocus to work, it's got to find an edge. And it cannot find an edge on a white sheet of paper, basically. And fine tune this just slightly right there. In macro land, fine tuning by a matter of a quarter of an inch can make, uh, make all the difference. And we'll focus about one third from the bottom. And I'm on aperture, so I'll say plus, plus one on this. And there's our bright spot. This is our diffusion disc, which we're gonna hold as close as possible to the subject. This gives you a shadow, but as you move in closer, if you can look very carefully, you'll see it start to get this kind of a glow to it. And the closer you get to it, the more you get that real beautiful kind of glow to the subject. And since we're inside there, we don't need to block off the edges. I want to avoid touching anything. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's right on the money. All right, so now we're going to add one more element to the mix here. After using a diffusion disc, more times than not, you're going to need to use a reflector to push, to grab the sun and push some light back onto the subject. Let's give it, give it some depth. That's why we got a cable release. So we're going to diffuse the light here and then hold it with the cable release hand and throw some light back in. We're going to grab the sun. There it is. Got to get the right angle. And then we'll throw some sunlight back. There it is. Into the subject. Not a lot. Just enough to brighten it up. Let's try this. That's, that's good. Right. Always take more than one because things are always moving. Just a little extra light. See it? before, after, kind of gives you a glow in that center part. You just got to find a way to make it work. What I was trying to do was to, to spotlight with this reflector, the center of the stamen there, the stamen, because it, there's sort of a warm cast there already, kind of a light amber. And this, the gold side of that will, will bring that out a bit. So more times than not, you will use these two devices together.